All right, guys, in this video, we are going to learn about the context API in Svelte. Let's begin by understanding what was the need for the context API and then understand how it works by writing some code. Consider a Svelte application that has lots of components. We have app component, which is the root component. Nested within the app component, at different levels are several other components. At the first level, we have components A, B, and C. Nested within component B is component D, and nested within component C is component E. And as it turns out, component F is nested inside component E. So we have three levels in total. The requirement in our application is that Components A, D, and F are supposed to display the logged in username. That information is maintained in the app component. Now we have recently learned about components and props. Props allow us to send data from a parent component to the child component. So to display the username in the nested components, we need to pass down the username as a prop. For component A, it is pretty straightforward. Directly, pass it in as props. For component D, however, we have the intermediate component B. So we have to pass down username as a prop to component B, and that in turn has to pass down the prop to component D. Now the scenario is somewhat similar for component F as well. The prop has to be passed through component C and then component E, and then finally to component F. Even though components B, C, and E do not need the prop, we still have to send the prop through them to be able to pass it to components further down in the tree. But imagine if the components were to be nested 5 or 10 levels deep. All the components in between would have to forward the prop. This especially becomes a problem for certain types of props such as language preference, UI theme, and authenticated user, which are pretty much required by many components in your application. What would be nice is if we could directly make the data available to the required component without having to manually drill down the props through every level of the component tree. This is where the context API comes into picture. The context API provides a way to pass data through the component tree without having to pass props down manually at every level. Let's understand this with the rightmost tree you see on the screen. Our goal is to pass the username value from app component and read that value in component F using the context API. There are two steps to implement when making use of the context API. Step one, set the context value in the app component. Step two, get the value in component F. To get us started, I have already created the components and nested them at the appropriate level. In app component, we have defined the username variable and set it to Vishwas. The same value is rendered in the markup and below this h2 tag, we have included component C as the child component. The import statement is within the script section. Within component C, we just have the heading child C component and below the heading, we have included component E as a child component. Component E again has a heading and component F as its child. Finally, in component F, we just render the heading child F component in the markup. Our aim now is to send this username value from the app component all the way down to component F and render it in the markup. All this while not using props. For step one, which is providing a context value, Svelte provides the set context function. Let's import it in app component. Import 
from svelte the set context function. Then after our username declaration, we can invoke the set context function. This function accepts two arguments. The first argument is the context key. You can call this anything you want to, but let's call it username context. The second argument is the value which we want to send to all the children components of app component, that is username. Now that we are setting a context, for our step two, we go to component F and get the username context value. To get the value, Svelte provides the get context function. So within the script section, import get context from Svelte. Now, using this get context function, we can retrieve the username. So const username is going to be equal to get context. And to this function, we specify the same context key as an argument. Our context key is username hyphen context. Once you have the username, you can bind it to the markup. If you now take a look at the browser, we see Vishwas from both the app component as well as component F. Now one thing I would like to mention here is about the two arguments to set context. Right now, both our arguments are string values, but they could be any data type that your app requires it to be. The first argument, in fact, what is recommended is to not use a string as the context key and use an object instead. The downside of using a string is that different component libraries might accidentally use the same key. Using an object literal means the keys are guaranteed not to conflict in any circumstance as objects only have referential equality. But this is pretty much about the context API in Svelte. It gives you a way to pass data through the component tree without having to pass props down manually at every level. Use the setContext function to provide a value from the parent component and the getContext function to consume the value in the child component. Alright then, in the next video, let's talk about component events. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.